What's happening guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a huge, huge session. We've got a boss man with me out there just getting his pre-workout, so training with Callum today. We are here at Halo Gym in Tunbridge Wells. Gonna be taking you through a pool session, so six plate stiff, stiff legged deadlift moves for reps today, that's what we want. Um, some heavy T-bar pulls, some heavy pulls, and then um, some heavy back work, and then some more bicep work at the end. So, as I said, I've got a boss man with me. It's the second time meeting him, uh, and actually getting the opportunity to train with him today, so we will make the most of that. I've just had a pre-workout, JP's new pre, so we'll see, that should kick in the next 10 minutes, start getting the tingles, and then it's game on. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon. September the 10th, this is what it's most likely to be at the moment. September the 10th show, two rows, first timers. I want to walk in there, I want to clean out the first timers, I want to win my open class, and I want that sword. I want that overall sword. So there's three, three times, three chances for me to win that day on the 10th. Then, two weeks later, the Arnold is in Birmingham. Because obviously, as most of you might know, it was there last year for the first time. So that'll be happening again around about the 23rd, 24th. Obviously the big boys are there. But uh, it would just be nice to get some experience with them first. But September the 10th is the one. Coming away with three medals. Last week, 
So 10 kilos up today, 260. See what we can do. Currently relatively deep into a, a modified cruise, but since the food is being titrated up slowly, it kind of counteracts the fact that you're coming off cycle. Uh, and then we're gonna aim to go back on February, March time up until the shows. So the majority of off-season will be in a cruise and then we'll probably have another two months, three months of off-season on cycle and then we'll start prepping May. And this time there's no rushing, so I can't stand rushing. I like to be at peace, take my time. Last year we were rushing to be ready. All my fault because I was stuffing my face in Dubai, but this time with Cal, a much more structured off-season. Off-season is not off. Technically, we're still in prep. We're just eating more, nailing the basics day to day, which is what I didn't do last time. So my starting position is going to be a lot better when we do start prepping, mate. Am I gutted about the rep range on that? Maybe. I put everything into that last rep, but obviously 
didn't get the lockout. Uh, is my lockout weak or did I just not move it fast enough from the floor? Could be a bit of both. Um, but as I say, it was a 10 kilo increase from previous week, from quarter of a ton to 260, so six plates aside. We got, I think I got like 5.9 reps, but we'll call it five because of the Instagram warriors. Uh, we'll move that to 10, eight to 10, and then we'll add from there. Because c has been pulling seven plates for free. And I, if I can pull it, then hopefully I can look like him. But people say, do you need to deadlift for a big back? I, I would say the answer is no, but why would you not want to use one of the best tools in your arsenal to build the whole posterior? We will be having uh, a video coming to you soon on how to break your deadlift down. How, basically how to deadlift, all the cues that I would run through when teaching a client how to deadlift and obviously the benefits of that as well. So keep your eyes peeled out for that. It's nice to do after the pull down. Quite a similar sensation to the hammer strength one. To the hammer strength high, the low row. The what, the standing row? Yeah, that one, yeah. yeah. So, two sets on here now, just to finish the lats. Obviously, with the, I was talking to Carl about this earlier. On the stiff legged, you'll notice that there's not a huge emphasis on the eccentric. You can obviously implement some Romanians in with a slow eccentric, but Cal was saying earlier that could potentially impede how many reps you get. You know, that might prevent you from getting a set of 10 and you only end up with six reps, but you've had a, a slightly more controlled eccentric. So there's a trade off. So on my heavy sets, I tend to just kind of turn loose or have a second on the eccentric on the way down. If I was doing Romanians, for example, you might want to add a three second eccentric and even a pause at the bottom where the plates are just hovering above the floor. So again, it's always time and place and what kind of movements you're putting in your program and why. But with this upper back work after, there's control on the eccentric all the way through, through both portions. <clears throat> yep. It's light. Rotating a little bit too much on the eleven. Oh, that's right. Oh. Oh. Yep, come on, one with me on this one. Oh, one. Yep. Right. Oh yeah. Fuck. Oh. Come on. Set work to finish up. I'm tagging arms two or three times a week at the moment, but obviously at the end of a push or a pull session because arms are not really priority in this off season phase. We don't have an actual arm day in there, so we just tag them on at the end. I feel like my biceps are a little bit more dominant, uh, my triceps need a little bit more work, the long head, but that's being worked on.
think we'll wrap that there. Uh, hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to Cal for jumping in today. Appreciate that big guy. We've, uh, we've got a, we've been working together what now, since April? Yeah. And I've come on leaps and bounds compared to where I was. So I'm just very excited to see what we can bring September time. Prep starts in May. Cal will obviously be pulling the strings all the way through. So lovely for him to jump in today. Hopefully we'll get another session when you're back up home. Yeah, or closer to closer to prep probably so he can have a look, get the kit off, strip down and they can have a proper look there. So I'll see you all in the next video guys. Got loads of content coming your way over Christmas, New Year period. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you soon.